I want to begin today's video by saying when it comes to the internet, always be cautious with what you're posting to it. Even just normal photos of yourself, you gotta watch out. I mean, the internet has a long history of taking pictures from people's personal social media accounts and warping them into memes. You gotta watch your back out there, man. Seriously. And today's story is something kind of along the lines of what I've just talked about, but taken to the next level. It was a case where someone's identity was essentially stolen for the sake of an internet joke slash meme. So do you recognize this woman on screen? For years, this individual's photos have been plastered across the internet from YouTube thumbnails to Reddit to Twitter and Instagram meme pages. It's everywhere. But who exactly is this person? Well, to many, she was the face of an infamous Twitter user by the name of Uma Compton. Uma Compton would garner a following on Twitter thanks to her timeline post that portrayed her as like this deranged lunatic and overall hot mess of a woman. The obsession with this bizarre Twitter user would grow until an investigation revealed that this Uma Compton account was for all intents and purposes a case of identity theft, a hoax that was potentially causing harm to the actual woman shown in the photos. This is the story of Uma Compton and the truth behind the account itself and of course the mysterious troll behind it all. When I'm not solving decades-old internet mysteries, I'm honing my detective skills with the sponsor of today's video, Hunt a Killer. Hunt a Killer is a murder mystery game that puts you in the shoes of an investigator. When you subscribe, a box will appear at your front door, presenting you with a fictional unsolved murder case. Your challenge is to evaluate the evidence, connect the leads, narrow down the suspects, and find the killer. You'll quickly become immersed in the mystery as you read through case backgrounds, solve puzzles and ciphers, study autopsy reports, and touch the physical evidence discovered on the crime scene. The way you approach Hunt a Killer is really up to you. You can crack the case alone in solitude, or you can team up with friends and collaborate on the mystery, which makes for an entertaining game night romp. There's new mysteries coming out each month, and with Halloween fast approaching, I couldn't think of a better time to join the other 100 thousand hunt a killer subscribers in this eerily engaging tabletop experience so what are you waiting for right now you can go to huntakiller.com slash wavy and use code wavy at checkout for 20 percent off the story begins with the creation of the uma compton twitter account in late 2015 at first, it seems like any other random chick's Twitter account that she made to interact with friends, but you quickly realize something's up when you look at the bio on this account. Proud Christian mother of three, suicide survivor, anti-bully advocate. Yeah, so there's already something funky going on here, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Suicide, good one. Not long after the account's creation, Uma started posting and quickly garnered attention for a series of outlandish and often vulgar tweets that she would publish. These tweets often involved Uma sharing apparent personal details about herself that were unflattering or just downright crude and taboo. Take a look at some of these. My brother has the softest lips. I love him. We named her Miracle. Two abortion attempts and she still made it. Stuck with her now. Sorry black men, only white boys can handle me. No flabby black girl body here. We don't want your coconut head looking ass from Ned's Declassified. Ooh. These wild captions juxtaposed with this seemingly average looking woman caught the attention of Twitter users. People would basically stumble across these posts and become intrigued with this hot mess of a woman and share the hell out of the page so that their friends and followers could also enter the Uma Compton rabbit hole that was expanding rapidly. Eventually, YouTubers would find the account, more specifically YouTube's reaction channels, and they stumbled upon this Uma Compton Twitter account and were like, hey, this actually seems like something I could make a video about to get some quick views. Because if Uma Compton was a real person and these were genuine tweets, yes, yeah, she would indeed be a crazy person worth reacting to, to be honest with you. The YouTube reactor responsible for truly exposing Uma Compton to the masses of the internet was none other than Rice Gum. So last month I made a roughly $60,000 uh, for one month 
Uh, I mean, it's okay. It is actually my lowest paid month. Once again, I only got 20 million views. On December 24th of 2015, Rice Gum posted a video titled, This Girl Must Be Stopped. Taking Uma's account at face value, he reacts to many of the popular Uma Compton tweets from the time, seemingly under the impression that Uma was some kind of legit psychopath. Here are some of Rice Gum's brilliant comedic takes. You know my pussy looks like Hiroshima after my man wrecked it. I did not know that. I, I, that's kind of weird. I mean, Hiroshima, really? I mean, I'm Asian, so it's like, I'm so lucky I met a man who can come on my heart, not just my face. What the fuck? Face like Rihanna, ass like Kim, titties like Nikki, and sex appeal of <sighs> Marilyn Monroe. About to suck some Italian guy's dick, BRB. Uma Compton, guys. Dude, I really hope I don't have a daughter, man. Please, no daughter. But wait, there's more. She writes a music. Here is my debut single, Donald Trump, Presidential Cock in My Heart. You know your dick is my next meal. Come and give his pussy a feel. Interestingly, a few days before Ricegum had posted his reaction video, the Uma Compton YouTube channel was created. This channel would eventually become populated with songs, apparently created by Uma herself, her first song being a love letter to soon-to-be President Donald Trump. Other songs would be released later on, and music would become a major part of the Uma Compton brand in general. Down by the river, boy, I'm waiting on you. Rice Gum addressing Uma Compton was really big for the Twitter account. As around the time that Rice Gum's video was posted, Uma Compton's Twitter account got a boost to around 4,000 followers. And this number steadily began rising as more became aware of her existence thanks to the Rice Gum video, which his video would go on to get millions of views. This would eventually prompt Uma to clap back at Rice in a racially charged tweet that he would react to in a video. And uh, she basically saw my video and uh, she said, Ain't no Ching Chong gonna ruin my Xmas. This day is about my Lord and Savior, not some Buck Chow breathed son of Gang Hiss trying to shade me. And on her Instagram, she said, This China guy, Rice Gub, was bullying me. Yada, yada, yada. I will not be called Coconut Head anymore. This is a massage to all my haters. And in response to this video, Uma makes an entire diss track back at Rice Gum. Let's just listen to this, get it over with. Uma Compton, this track on me. Hey, Rice Gum, why are you acting dumb? You know I fucked your dad and I even fucked your mom. I really shouldn't say it, but I'm having so much fun. Your little sister's pussy tastes so good on my tongue. Bruh. At this point, it seemed like Uma couldn't lose. She was such a strange character, said all this crazy, ridiculous shit, and people still loved her. I think people really just appreciated Uma Compton and her no fucks given demeanor. Rice Gum and many of Uma's followers were completely convinced that she was a genuine person. But as time went on, some began to suspect that the account had been a troll. You know, just some kind of troll that was making outrageous statements under this profile to get people to listen to their music and also just farm engagements. I mean, character and parody meme accounts have been a thing on Twitter for a long time, and Uma Compton's profile certainly matches this criteria. And Uma Compton being a real person or a troll, what's the big deal anyways? If she's a troll, there's no harm in what she was doing, right? Or was there? This is where we start to take the mask off. In late January of 2016, reporters at BuzzFeed had produced evidence suggesting the woman associated with the Uma Compton Twitter account wasn't actually a woman named Uma Compton. Rather, the person behind this Twitter account had essentially stolen the identity of a Russian woman and created a fake persona using hundreds of photos lifted from this Russian woman's personal social media accounts. They were saying Uma Compton was a troll and was posting all this gnarly shit under the guise of someone else's photos, and BuzzFeed was also saying that they had managed to track down the real woman in the Uma Compton photos. So how did they get to this conclusion and how did they find the real woman? Well, it really comes down to the person operating the Uma Compton Twitter account getting sloppy. In one photo posted to the Twitter account, the mystery woman can be seen standing in front of a signpost with a bunch of acrylic text on it. And at the bottom of this signage was a phone number. 
When Googled, this phone number redirected inquisitors to the Russian social media site VK.com, and specifically a page on VK created for a gym located in Pravdinsky, Russia. And this gym page happened to have a members list on it. And after browsing through the gym member list profile by profile, editors at BuzzFeed stumble across a profile by the name of Natalia. And lo and behold, after visiting Natalia's VK page, they were met with the iconic visage of Uma Compton. The actual woman behind Uma had been found and her name was Natalia. After finding Natalia, the BuzzFeed guys reached out to her and told her what was going on. Upon being contacted by BuzzFeed editors, Natalia was confused and explained that she had no idea that her photos were being used for any purpose other than her own VK page and was definitely unaware that some troll had been masquerading as her posting obscene and crass content to the internet using her face. Her husband, who was sometimes featured in the Uma Compton photos, was also reached out to by BuzzFeed and was equally disturbed by the development. Both Natalia and her husband wanted this troll to stop. Eventually, this leads to Ryan Broderick, the reporter at BuzzFeed that had been investigating Uma getting in contact with her in DMs. He confronts this mischievous troll on behalf of Natalia Natalia and her husband and asks Uma why did you choose Natalia's photo to run this meme account with? Uma Compton would respond but play stupid and seemed apathetic towards the concerns of the woman whose persona she had hijacked. Hi there, I was hoping to ask you a few questions about your account if you have a second. Sorry Brody the hottie. I mean, sure, not sorry. I was hoping to ask if you knew Natalia and it appears that you've been using their photos without their permission. I don't know them. I asked them about your account and they had never heard of you, but all of their photos on VK are exactly the same as the ones you're posting on Twitter and Instagram. I don't know what VK is. It's like Russian Facebook. There are a couple living near Moscow and they want to know why you're using their photos to tweet about abortions and Donald Trump. I'll be publishing a piece about this today. Do you have anything you'd like to clear up or explain? Yes, give me that promo, daddy. Uma had a joking and mocking demeanor in this private conversation, but once the story went public, she went into full damage control, saying, Don't believe anything you read in the media about me. It's all lies. Once this BuzzFeed article was published, you know, explaining how Uma Compton had basically stolen someone's identity for the purpose of making a meme page, well, people kind of thought that was jacked up and a little cruel, especially with what she was saying and the tide started to turn against Uma Compton. Eventually, Twitter staff would catch wind of the development and would terminate the Uma Compton account, which had tens of thousands of followers. Uma would exist on Instagram for some time, but it was eventually banned on that platform as well. And she has tried time and time again to continue operations, posting using Natalia's photos, but social media websites are privy of her actions now and will ban any sock accounts she creates. The only real platform Forms that Uma Compton still has are the YouTube channel and her Spotify account, which feature exclusively music that she has made. Music made popular by the clever yet reckless use of meme magic. To this day, nobody really knows who was behind the Uma Compton project or why she chose to use Natalia's photos as her likeness. And outside of the bannings, Uma never faced any real consequences thanks to her anonymity. This story is an uncomfortable example of when internet memes can actually become abusive, invade someone's privacy, and potentially cause damages. I mean, try to put yourself in Natalia's position. The internet is full of photos that feature her face being associated with all these gnarly captions. Imagine applying for a job, getting and going through the interview process, and then this shit pops up on a background check. Yeah, good luck explaining that one to boss man. And the worst part about it is, is that you literally did nothing wrong. Someone on the internet that just happened to arbitrarily pick your photo, decide to turn it into a meme, and change your life for the worst. Since the internet is indeed forever, Natalia will have to live with the ramifications of all this shit posted across the internet for the rest of her life, while Uma Compton gets to slink away thanks to her anonymity, never really facing any consequence from this. Just doesn't seem right, but one thing I've learned over the years is that the internet is not a fair place. But that, my friends, is the story of Uma Compton, the elaborate Twitter troll that essentially hijacked some random woman's personality for the sake of comedy online. If you guys enjoyed this video, you probably ought to watch my video about the time some hackers got into Sesame Street's YouTube channel and uploaded porn to it. 
uh, give it a watch. Slap that like, ring that notification bell, and make sure you let me know who or what you want me to talk about next. I want to give a major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.